What's going on guys? It's Live from New York and I'm back with another pickup video. So I'm recording this on Saturday of Labor Day weekend. I just got back from the garage sales. Uh, I picked up a couple of things today, but I'm going to try and do this in chronological order. I have about three weeks worth of stuff that I got to go through. And I'm going to try and remember, you know, where I found the stuff and how much I got everything for. So let's just get it started. That was it for that day. I did find some other stuff, but as far as game related stuff goes that weekend, uh, that was all I found. All right, so you may have heard in one of my last videos that uh, there's been a couple of fake garage sales posted around my area. So uh, with that said, uh, I saw an ad on Craigslist and uh, it said they were gonna have, just said Nintendo games, it didn't say anything else. So I got there a little bit early, about 15 minutes early, and there was nobody there setting up. Uh, I knocked on the door and nobody answered. I don't even think anybody was home. Uh, it was definitely a fake garage sale because I checked back later and still there was no, nothing going on there. So whoever posted that up is an idiot because all I did was drive down the block and make a right. And I found a random garage sale. It wasn't listed on Craigslist. There was no signs out. It was just one lady and like a bunch of bins of stuff. And uh, at this first garage sale, I kind of did hit the jackpot. And uh, let me show you what I got from there. So there was a Nintendo 64. It was the regular charcoal gray or whatever they want to call it. It's pretty clean. There's no cracks or anything. Uh, I think it just has the regular jumper pack. Yep. Regular jumper pack, no memory expansion. And it was, that also came with all the wires and a gray controller. Actually another gray controller. And a clear red, which I believe is watermelon. Now, I saw the Nintendo 64 in there and a whole mess of games. And I didn't even I didn't even look at the games. All I saw was one game on top, and I just asked her how much does she want for everything. And she told me 15 bucks. I just paid her the money and I got out of there. So I didn't even see what games were in there, except for the one game. And I'll get to the games right now. First up, we have Supercross 2000, F1 Pole Position 64, Rugrats in Paris the Movie. Scooby-Doo, Classic Creep Capers, New Tetris, and yes, all of them have these GameStop stickers all over them, so I haven't gotten to cleaning those up yet. Cruising USA, Wave Race 64, a beat-up copy of Pokemon Stadium, Diddy Kong Racing, Yoshi's Story, Super Mario 64, 
Mario Kart 64, Mario Party, the original first one. And last is the game I saw on top, which was Super Smash Bros. But, uh, you know, the label is a little ripped up, which isn't that big of a deal because there was two copies in there. One's player's choice. I'm keeping this one for my collection. So as usual, we'll have a list of addresses from Craigslist. And uh, I'll just follow them around, not really finding anything. But I did come across one yard sale where I did find a couple of good things. Copy Street Fighter 2000. This they threw in for free because it was broken. But uh, I'll take a free game. Rad Racer 2. Bubble Bobby. And Ninja Gaiden 2. These were listed for $2 a piece, but I got all four for $5. And just like the other garage sales, there's a whole bunch of bins and stuff. And in one of the bins, I found a Fire Orange Nintendo 64. This one does have the uh, memory expansion pack. This didn't come with any controllers, but it did come with a power cable. And as you can see, it's in really good condition. It's no cracks or anything. Uh, the reset button is a little sticky. Uh, I'll just open that up and clean it. But this works great, and I'm going to be keeping this one for myself. I just need to get the uh, controller to match it. If anybody has the fire orange controller, let me know and we can work out a trade or something. All right, so I was just following some signs and I came up to a random garage sale and they didn't have anything except this one game. But the one game they did have was uh, Animal Crossing. It's player's choice. And this is factory seal. You see the uh, Y seams. This was only a dollar for a factory sealed Animal Crossing. Alright, so I was on my way home, I was actually done for the day, and I came across a random garage sale. And they had a whole bunch of Game Boy Advance stuff. So I picked up uh, five of these cases, hold the Game Boy Advance games, they each hold three games inside. They also had a Nintendo DS case, I think this holds like four games. I picked these cases up were for ten cents a piece. And uh, they did have some games for two bucks a piece. Uh, I picked up the Legend of Zelda Classic NES series. A second copy of Legend of Zelda Classic NES series. A copy of Super Mario 3 and Donkey Kong NES series. The rest of the games I already had in my collection. So I paid I think a dollar a piece for the games and like 50 cents for these cases which wasn't too bad. Alright so now to get into my pickups from today. It's Labor Day weekend, so it's just as scarce out here, if not more so, than it was the last couple of weeks. There really wasn't any garage sales in my area at all. And uh, I found games at one garage sale. All right, so the first thing I got there was a copy of Doom on the PlayStation 1. We have the uh, cardboard long box version. Now, it does not have the manual, but it did have the foam insert. I actually put that in one of my Sega CD games because there's no point in having it in here. And all the games I picked up here were a dollar a piece. So Doom was a pretty good pickup for a buck. And we have a copy of Pokemon Ruby, the Game Boy Advance. And it does work and it does save. So for a buck, you can't go wrong with a, a Pokemon game, no matter how rough the label is. Even if it doesn't have a label at all, you know, a dollar for Pokemon is pretty good. And the last thing I picked up was a box Game Boy Advance. And this is the Fuchsia colorway. Still has the original sticker on there, $89.99 box is in really good shape. Corners are decent. There's not much wear on it. Check out the back. I really want to get one of those GameCube link cables. Gotta try four swords with that. And the system is in really good condition. They must have put it back in the box when they were done with it because it looks like it was hardly used. You can tell there's not many scratches on that screen there. It's in really good shape, so whoever had this took really good care of it. And in the box is all the manuals of paperwork, warranty card, all that good stuff. All in perfect condition. And I picked this up for five bucks. So, really can't complain for a box system for five dollars. Now, if anybody has a boxed platinum Game Boy Advance and is willing to trade, I will trade this for a platinum version of this. So uh, if you have one and you want to trade, just let me know in the comments or send me a message and uh, we can go ahead and try and get that going. Alright, so next we have a Craigslist pickup and let this be a lesson to anybody who only searches the video game section. You have to check every section or just search for keywords because 
a lot of times people post games in electronics they post it in the trade section they post it in the the free section you never know where you might find something so you always gotta check everywhere and uh, that leads me to my next pickup alright so in the barter section I saw an ad for a Wii with games and when I read the ad it said he had a console with like 20 games he did have something I was interested in and when I got there he ended up having two copies of it so we didn't have one but two copies of Xenoblade Chronicles and this one the cover art is flipped around you can see it still has it on the spine and both of these are original press he said he reserved two copies of them when they first came out and uh, he's getting rid of all his Wii stuff so he was selling it and yes they are both complete with the manual now the only way to tell the difference between the GameStop reprint and the original print is not on the disc or anything by itself it's really just the case and uh, the case is gonna say Nintendo up here instead of Wii and behind the manual uh, the case is cut out I guess to uh, use less plastic or whatever but uh, he was asking 40 bucks a piece I talked him down to 60 for both of them but I did have to drive out quite far to get these and uh, cost me about ten dollars in gas so when it was all said and done I paid about seventy dollars for both of them just about thirty five dollars a piece which is completely worth it because I think these are eighty bucks at GameStop right now and they were over a hundred on eBay like a couple weeks ago so really glad to pick these up I've been looking for this game for a long time and to get it a, such a good deal I basically got two copies for the price of one and uh, obviously I'm gonna be keeping one of these and the other one this one will be up for trade if anybody's interested let me know it is complete and everything alright so like always I just want to thank you guys for watching my video and do me a favor just you know hit that like button if you haven't yet hit the subscribe button if you like what you see I'm not gonna make you subscribe to something that you're not interested in you know if you didn't like my video you don't have to subscribe to it obviously but you know if you like my videos you know hit the subscribe button let me know leave a comment down below and uh, till next week, peace.